turning this clock into into this lovely work of art. Stick around and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm just going to outline everything and turn it into like a uh, a rub. About the butterfly and the flowers, and we're going to put them on our cloth. Table. Okay, so we've got our stencil, and we're just going to do this like a rub. We've got it positioned on our template for our clock and we're just going to I've tried this with other items different things to try to get it down and just going back over the back side with a pencil seems to be the most effective way to get the um, the, the outline on your template. So that's what we're going to do here. You just got to hold it pretty tight. Tape can work, but it's not 100%. You always take the chance of the tape sticking. So you just got to kind of be really, really careful with what you're doing. And I've got this as centered as possible. And you want to put pretty good pressure without breaking your lead. If you can find a stencil at the craft store of uh, whatever you want to use, that would probably be a whole lot easier than finding pictures on the interwebs and doing it this way. But I'm cheap and lazy and, well, this is the way we're doing it. So before you peel, pull the whole thing up, we're going to check it and see. And that is how you get your rub on. Ta-da! Now, to get the fuzzy look, what you're going to do is you're going to outline with a Sharpie Ooh. your penciled-in area. And once you're done with that, whatever color you're going to do, you're going to take your paintbrush and your rubbing alcohol. I'm using 70%. And just paint over your drawn in lines real carefully and it just kind of diffuses the ink a little bit. So then you get this nice blurred look so it's not so sharp. Kind of cool, huh? Okay, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to turn the white spot here into this lovely watercolor by taking our paint on a decently sized watercolor or paintbrush here and just kind of put some water down. Not a whole lot because you don't want to make a mess of your paper. Just kind of like that. And then we're going to take and dip in our paint, our watercolor paint here. And kind of let it kind of spread out. If you go outside your line, that's fine. Because we haven't cut nothing yet, so it is alright. Let those colors merge and blend. 
and you're just going to do this all over until you are happy with what you've got. Then let it all dry. Okay, so now that we've got our watercolor done, what I've done is I've added in butterfly accents just by taking a silhouette of butterflies that I printed off of the internet. I just googled butterfly silhouettes and I did the same thing with those that I did with the flowers by tracing out each butterfly's outline with a pencil and going over it on the back to transfer it onto where I wanted it. And what I'm going to do here is because I want it to keep the silhouette shape, um, color, I'm just going to take my black sharpie and I'm just going to outline it and color it in. And when I'm done with that, I'll cut it out and size it. And I might add in the um, lines for the other hours in between my flowers. Okay. So what I've done is I've kind of gone through and measured out between each of the three of the four times for the in-between hours. And I'm just taking my watercolor paper here and I'm lining it up with my little bitty pencil dot and I'm taking a coordinated um, Sharpie here and I'm going to draw just a kind of a, a, a thick line all the way down. Now I may have to trim out a little bit and I want to make this a little bit thick, not real thick, but thick enough to where I can see it. Just like that. And you can see the butterfly silhouettes here now that they're all filled in. And now we're ready to take our clock here. And all we have to do is unscrew the back with these after we take our battery out and unassemble it. And once we do that, I'll show you how to put everything together. Okay, so now that we've taken the back off from the glass and the frame, what we have to do is carefully pop these off. And this can be a chore because you don't want to bend your hands, otherwise they're not going to move right. So I want to pop these off real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got our new face trimmed down, you have to put the hole in there. And what I did is I took just a Sharpie and I just put a little bit of color right here and placed this on top of it and just kind of pushed a little bit and it made a nice little indentation and then I used my nice little screwdriver to push through the front part so that we don't tear our picture. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put these double sided glue dots on the back of our picture here so it'll stick once we lay it in there. Okay, now that we've got our sticky dots on there, what we're double-sided glue dots actually, what we're going to do is we're going to line up our 12 o'clock flower with where the 12 o'clock is there. And before we stick it down completely, we're going to make sure that we're completely lined up and then we're going to press down and make sure that everything's firmly in place. Then we're going to put our hands back on the clock and put it all back together. Now we get to screw everything back together in them little really holes. Wipe the glass off and I'll be ready to show you what the finished product looks like. And that's the finished product. Everything's working fine. Got the butterflies on there. And 
I'll be hanging it up in my room. So the next project I'll be doing, I'll be videoing as well. And eventually, once I get my room organized, I will be showing where everything is going and what it looks like hung up and in its place. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY clock update. And please subscribe. Thanks.